Hi, and welcome back. And in this tutorial, um, we're going to continue our conversation about achievements and the badging system of where we left off in the last um, part three video that we shared. So again, in order to see your achievements and your badges, you would click down here to the me section. Now, when you first log on, again, here, this is you. Your name will show. Um, it keeps track of how many books you read, uh, the total time, the average time you read per day. Um, I'm sorry, that's here. The total time read in general is here. Um, your current streak, how many days in a row have you read, and what is your longest streak? So this is kind of cool to get an idea to see how much time you actually spend reading. And if it's something that you're doing great at, or maybe we can use these numbers to kind of improve um, how much we read as well. And again, here are those achievements down here, down below. Um, again, you have the basics, you have the completionist badges, the action badges, the subject badges, and your reading time and Hall of Fame badges. So I think this is a cool idea um, to maybe be competitive within your class or just to encourage reading in general to um, earn as many badges as you can. Uh, so I think that's a great idea. So let's say you finished a book and you earned your completionist ba um, badge. It's here somewhere, meaning you earned a badge because you actually finished a book. Um, you can then go back to your shelf. So if you have a book, and you're done with that book and you want to return that book, you would click on your shelf. Now, if you finish a book ahead of time, you would or can return that book yourself following these directions here um, that I'm going to show you in a minute. However, if you don't finish a book, or you forget to return your book, Sora automatically returns it for you after that 14 day or um, that time period noted down here. And if you've renewed your book, obviously that 14 days is gonna be a little longer, but Sora will automatically return your book once the numbers noted down here have kind of gone away. So you never have to remember to return your book, but it is nice to return your book um, if you finished your book earlier so it can go to the next person if they're waiting in line and they've placed a hold or someone's searching for that book as well. So let's say Diary of a Wimpy Kid, I'm done with that book. I'm going to go to options. Um, again, here's where you renew that book here. It also tells you when it's due. Um, but you can also open your book from this page as well. So that's another option of how to access your book. But right here is where you click return and you can return your book right here. So then it only on the shelf, I only see the book that I am currently reading. So that's a nice little tip on how to return your book if you're done early. And if you get to return it, it automatically gets returned as well. So let's go back to that home page. And again, once you return a book, it'll leave this loan section here. Um, when you're done with a book and you want to see those defined words you may have checked on, they then pop up here. If you've added any additional notes to a new book, it will come up here as well. Um, it also shows you the book. Um, and the notes that goes with the book. So that's nice. So you can easily keep track of that as well.